a planned timeline. Okay, well now that you have, have went and filled in exactly where you're going to be posting your links to and also what directory you're going to use, it's time to start thinking about a timeline. Now one thing to keep in mind is that I would not suggest going out and creating 30 articles and, and posting them all overnight because especially if you have a new site that's going to look fishy. Uh, what search engines like to see are links spread out over time. So what I would do is I would go down here and I would start with uh, you know promoting my main page and I would start with easy articles let's say that I start on the ninth uh, on the first of September okay and uh, <laughs> make it look a little bit nicer there. and and uh, then I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go to the fourth of September now uh, again if you have a site that's already established and your article marketing you can start things off a bit more aggressively but if you have a new site that that the search engines have never seen before I would suggest a, a bit of a slow start and as you can see you know the first day easy articles the second day easy articles and then it's going to be time to, to branch out uh, you know to uh, to go go articles can't type today here folks and then uh, you know search warp and now that I've I've created four articles pointing here, maybe it's time to go up here and start promoting the individual pages. Maybe I can go with uh, maybe every every two days now, Oops. and then I'll go down to this next page here, and then I'll you know I'll wait every other day I can be submitting something like that, and then after the first month maybe I can be start doing it every day. Or uh, if you want to, you know, you could do two a day, but only do it every other day, uh, just because it can get to be annoying to, you know, to do this every day. But uh, but again, the, the the point is when making your timeline to make sure that you do not overwhelm the search engines. You do not want to go out there and throw all these articles out at once, especially when you have a new site. And also, you want to be careful with this mass mass submission thing. You can see in a separate video where I talk about what it is and and just the guidelines on when you want to use it. I would definitely not recommend using it right in the beginning. So once so once you have this, you can go ahead and, and fill in the rest of your timeline and then just start creating your articles. All right, well, I'll see you in the next video.